Christopher Myers trails by one in the Pro Junior competition, playing the 18th, and this is his second to the par five. So a birdie to tie the lead. Well, look at this shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, about a double eagle walk off. Unbelievable. What a thrill. A double eagle to win the competition for Christopher Myers. That's the way to do it in style right there. Well, guys, uh, we've talked about the Florida swing this just a moment ago. No, Zach no Johnson, way. second shot here at the par five. He's got the round of the day going already at five under par. How about this? Will it? Yes, it will. Another double eagle. <laughs> you got <kidding. laughs> Absolutely incredible stuff we've seen on this Florida swing. Just 199 to go for Scotty and all the groups coming down here. Finchy are attacking this green with their second shots. Mid to long irons in. And Scott's ball's all over the pin here. Oh, good in. Could be a two. Yes. Oh. It's an albatross <laughs> double eagle for Adam Scott at the eighth. <laughs> Super stuff from the young Aussie. <laughs> well, I like his angle from the right hand side, so he's looking just to the right of the hole, trying to work it back gently to the left, staring it down. And yeah, that's a beautiful shot. He's got it in there. He might have. Two. Wow! Hello. Bart Bryant with a double eagle at 18. Well, he needed a good swing and he got it net. And the best thing, he doesn't have to putt. And he just jumped right back up the leaderboard. Thank you very much. This is the shot of the day. Shot of the week. Who knows? It'll be one of the shots of the year. Daniel Berger, second at the par 5 sixth. Go ahead, do that. Daniel Berger, that is a double eagle, a deuce on a par five. He hit four iron from 237 yards. One to save him. And the hits keep coming for Daniel Berger in this incredible rookie season he has put together. How about this at 18, short time ago, Morgan Hoffman. Wow, going with an iron. That's a big drive. 251. Oh man, that's a hard swing. And look at this shot. Got a nice second hop there. What do you think, folks? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Albatross, double eagle, whatever you want to call it. That's amazing. What a shot. And they're dancing and high-fiving. Nice to be three under on one hole, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Fael Cabrera Bayo. This is second shot at the par five. Takes a big kick forwards right at the flagstick. And this is what can happen over the final few holes here at TPC Sawgrass. What a bounce. Wow, he's excited. That's Double nice. eagle, albatross, whatever you want to call it. It's a really big bird. <laughs> <laughs> that was better than the Fred Couples bounce. Remember that one? Yeah. At the ninth hole, a par five, all the way back there in the right rough, hitting a second shot. Gary Koch, that's James Hahn on this par five. And uh, uh, take a look at this, Gary. This is uh, perhaps the rarest feat in all of golf, Steve. See it bounce on the front yeah. edge, and then watch. Disappears. <laughs> oh, yeah. Double eagle, the albatross. At 18, his ninth hole of the day, Jason Gore, his second shot at the par five. Okay, just watch this. Pay attention. Big high fade. And we'll let the golf ball do the rest. Mm, yes! Two. A two? Albatross two at the 18th. That is cool. Look at that card. <laughs> Minji Lee, this is the drivable par 4 16th. 
Tee moved up. It's 275 yards. It plays downhill in the fairway. Most shots will take a little kick to the left. That was a long, oh. long carry. Hello. Oh. No. <laughs> I believe that's the second one of those this season on the LPGA Tour. And some early highlights. Some fireworks from Hana Jang. There she is on the tee. The par 4 eighth is set up at a drivable distance here today for round number three. And Hana Jang taking full advantage of it. Watch this. Watch the flag. It's pretty much a U.S. Open type par 3. A really difficult hole. Unless you do that. I'm a little biased there because I hold my second shot there back in 2007, 2008. Yes, and looking for the eagle. What about an albatross? Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't faint. He's huge. He only has a seven iron left of this pin. And that's Jack of old. That's a seven iron, as I said. Playing 564 yards, Dan, but it's straight downwind. That appeared to be 5-6 iron. And that, folks, is a double eagle for Jeff Ogilvy. Carlos Franco at this short par 5. Huge lead on Hal Sutton, 5 up. That is quite the swing, isn't it? That is a John Daly swing. And, I mean, he has dominated these holes. Look at that! Oh, unbelievable double eagle by Franco. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> In the third round. Yeah, we're checking it out right now. Coming up the hill. I believe Bob Gilder went at it pretty hard himself. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. See eight points for double eagle modified stable for scoring. Yep. This is second shot, of course. Bounce, bounce, out. trickle, trickle, trickle. Give me eight. Barracuda bonus. Oh, it's a hundred thousand dollars right there. Wonder if he knows that. The best shot from the second round of the 2009 Deutsche Bank Championship. Australian John Sinden, beginning the day 35th on the leaderboard. Started on the back nine, makes the turn in three under. This a three iron from 250 yards, working the par five second over the ridge. And John Sinden, can you believe it? In the cup, in two. An albatross for John Sinden, the first to do it since Daniel Chopra a year ago in Las Vegas. The best shot from the final round of the 2009 Chevron World Challenge. A 568-yard par 5. Camilo Villegas, his second. A 3-wood from 262 yards. Villegas off that left side of the green. Into the cup for a double eagle. An albatross for Villegas. Padraig Harrington with a shot of the day at the World Golf Championships HSBC Champions. This is the par 5 14th, his second shot, 240 yards away, and he sinks that for an albatross, a rare double eagle. Six under on the day, tied for eighth, Padraig Harrington heading into the final round. Albatross or double eagle earlier in the week from Per Ulrich Johansson from 262 yards. Here it is. And you just cannot believe, as you see this ball land, that it can move enough to the right to go into the hole. And then suddenly, a dying swoop through the minefield. And there it is, the Albatross two, which brought him from three over to level par. He was able to make the cut. The best shot from Friday's second round of the 2006 Barclays Classic, Jeff Overton, the par 5 18th from the fairway, playing his second. And this is one of those rare moments in golf. It one hops, a double eagle at 18 for Overton. 